individual questions, of course, are, have their own page. So we'll see what one looks like. This is current ocean studies. That's one of the real-time questions. Holly Benson was the lead. The other students at the top there were the helpers. You can see that the, the question is about the uh, wind stress uh, as depicted in the color-coded map. And you can see at the bottom where the students answered the question. Holly was the last to answer, so she apologetically, uh, you know, after Friday midnight, uh, answered. And I haven't had any strict policy to enforce any point penalty so far. Another idea, another application. Study guide is a Plum product that is in the collective. It's been updated for Plum 3. It uses data grid field. If you're familiar with that product, it's used in several nice products. Three columns. First column, the student rates their knowledge or an item, study item. This is just a list of terms that you see in that middle column. And they're able to type notes in the right hand column. So just a simple three column table, but it lets them rate their knowledge. And the idea, I don't know if you guys have had experience with trying to get students to do some of this. Uh, uh, to me, it sounds like a great idea. And if I was studying with my study habits, I would use this. I would go through, look at the terms, mark the ones that I know, the ones that I don't know. If you, if you mark an item, then you get it painted green. It's just color coded. Red, if you don't know it, that's the far left setting, that's in the left hand column. And then green, if you know it. So it's a simple self rating system. Well, there is a fairly small script that has those. with the do-it-yourself clone, uh, clone style. It uses a generator script, so you can create your own style using that generator script. So I took that idea and applied it to study guide. Because study guides tend to have a set of questions, I mean a set of uh, terms or an outline, and you're going to create individual types on the fly. So there's a the, uh, the lines there show that there's ocean, ocean, O1 is oceanography chapter 1, O2 is the second chapter, just sets of terms. Those are separate products. Yeah, can you zoom it again? Let's see. Command plus is that. Command plus. But I have to select it, I guess. So let me So uh, some other behind-the-scenes work to create these, these individual products, if you will. Uh, study guide 01, 02, those are the individual chapters. But I have 30 students, so I want to create these objects, these study guide instances, in each of their home folders. So that's a short little script that you can see at the top that it finds all the members of the website, finds their home folders, loops through their home folders and makes a checkoff list folder, as I call the, these instances, and then creates chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So each student ends up having their own study guides or checkoff term, term checkoff lists, whatever you wish to call them, in their home folder. And the idea is they're supposed to use them to study for the midterm, which is coming up on Monday, on Tuesday. But this is spring break, so I'm fighting a losing battle here. To 
get them to try to do. Okay, somebody asked about the maps. Very handy. Our geology type of uh, work that I'm doing. I know my uh, time when I'm supposed to stop talking here. The uh, MAPS product for geology, oceanography, meteorology, uh, uh, these sorts of courses is very important. Uh, it takes advantage of Google Maps. You have to get a Google Maps key to, for your particular website URL, but it's free and easy to do. And then you're ready to go. You're ready to create locations by latitude and longitude anywhere on your site. Here's an idea for an assignment. I learned about these Argo floats in some oceanography training last summer. They're really neat. They will stay at 1,000 meters for 10 days, drift, and they'll dive to 2,000 meters, and they'll come up, taking data, pop up to the surface, and save their data by satellite. And then they'll dive back down to 1,000 meters and stay for 10 more days. So I thought that was really cool. I just, I'll just, there's 300 of them, so I got the latitude and longitude locations, and um, so there's post Argo floats assignment, and if you, I'll just scroll through it here. Whole bunch of Argo float data. We're teaching science here, so we need to put some on occasionally, I'm trying to push the envelope of what I can do. And then at the very bottom, the actual uh, invoke factory involved code to create the location objects for each float. So there, these are all over the world, by the way. Yep. Sorry, location object is something that you Location object is the work, is the main uh, type for the MAPS product. So when you install a MAPS product, it has a location. Yeah, location is what you key everything from. Also. And if you create a folder and you add a number of locations inside that folder, it becomes a map automatically. Is there a minimum of three make triangles? It is what? Is there a minimum of like three make triangles? No, it, it, you're, you're, you have to provide the latitude and longitude location for, for each item. So it, the Google Maps embedded uh, software will figure that out for you. So these are all over the world. There are 3,000 in the Pacific. There are about 300, so I focused on the Pacific. That script creates the assignment. Broke the students into five groups, five groups of about five. And I just hard-coded that in there arbitrarily. I created a clone board forums for discussion associated with the assignment. And then the top item on the right is the assignment description to tell them how to do all this. By this point, by the fourth week, I think it was, they had had several assignments to use maps. So they knew how to make a folder, add some locations, and they got a Google map out of the deal. So you do a little bit of training with your beginning assignment so you can give them a big one later. Each of those folders on the right, group one, group two, group three, they contain a subset of those 300 floats, those Argo floats. <coughs> 